Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. <clears throat> are any of us surprised that this is another Bath & Body Works haul? No, I didn't think so. Uh, yeah, I, I've made some recent damage to Bath & Body Works, damage to, to my wallet, obviously. Um, didn't break anything in the store actually but I have I have so much that I've purchased lately and I just thought I would show you most of it I, I just realized I don't have one of the items what the one that I really enjoy because it's sitting um, in my room because I've been using it instead of like leaving it here like I should so that I can show it to you when I film but we'll get to that one before I get started don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help out small youtubers and don't forget to let me know what you've purchased at Bath and Body Works lately have you tried any of these what are your thoughts and opinions on them what deals have you been taking advantage of let me know down below we're gonna start with single wicks candles because they were on special they were $5.95 which was supposed to be the lowest price of the season so I stocked up on a few that I wanted for various reasons either it was the only form of that particular scent or I wanted the uh, to try that particular scent or I wanted the jars to keep for the in candle form forever because you're gonna see there's some of that going on because they really got me good this year. So we're just going to jump right into it, kind of talk through things. First up, I have Bright Christmas Morning. I do really enjoy this scent in candle form. This is Ripe Red Berries, Blood Orange, and Crisp Apple. I feel like the Blood Orange isn't as prominent in the candle as it is in the body care. We'll, we'll get to body care in a little bit. Then I got a Hot Cocoa and Cream. These I got at my local store, so I do have them in the little case. I feel like I got two. Yes, I did get two hot cocos and cream because I really love that scent. I got a Harvest Pomegranate because I loved it in the three wick that I had and I decided to pick up two of these uh, single wicks because I really like the scent. Oh, I should tell you the notes, huh? Harvest Pomegranate is rich pomegranate, freshly picked apples, and sweet black plums. This reminds me a lot of the Honeycrisp apple. The apple is really prominent and it's a nice sweet. Hot cocoa and cream is basically what it smells like. Or sounds like decadent milk chocolate fresh steamed milk and mini marshmallows it's, it's, it's a good one then we have strawberry snowflakes this one I thought was cute this is a uh, juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot I really like this one it has that sweet strawberryness to it but it doesn't have like the it's not overly sweet it's a little bit more tart than like strawberry pancake then we have champagne apple and honey this is another really good uh candle this is crisp apple sparkling champagne and jasmine honey i better not smell all of these i really like this i've had this in body care this is my current hand sanitizer i think it's nice and then i picked up sugar plum fairy because oh my gosh how pretty is this and sugar plum fairy my background in dance of course i was a sucker that needed to get that. I actually, the week before, used a couple of my rewards on candles because I had two, well, I still have two. I don't know. I've spent way too much money. So I used one up for Sugar Plum Fairy, and then I also got Flannel because it's the Mouse King, and obviously with the Mouse King, my history with dance, being in so many nutcrackers over the years, uh, I had to get I had to get him because he was just cute. I wish all of the packaging actually was like directly related. And I wish this instead of a house was like an actual sugar plum fairy. But uh, yes, love these. And those two obviously are going to be ones that I keep and I'm not going to be actually burning because I wanted a, a set of them just for old time's sake. Then I uh, made some purchases online for candles that were not available in store that were online exclusives. The first one that was online exclusive is Mary Mimosa. This is sparkling champagne, red apple slices, and iced sugar crystals. It's a nice sweet one. It has a little bit of bubbliness to it, a slight tartness from that champagne, but it, it's a nice one. I did like it. I think it's cute too. I wish all of these pink ones were available in store though because I, it would have been nice not to have to pay shipping. Especially for one that I wasn't sure if I liked the scent of or not. This is blush poinsettia The notes on this one are rose petals green ivy and sweet marshmallow. I was thinking this might be like pink petal tea cake It's not this one is just okay to me. 
I get the rose, I get the marshmallow, but the ivy just skews it a little bit. Um, it's a little too green for me. I'm still going to burn it. I still think I will like it, but I'm glad that I didn't buy two or three of it like I was planning to because I just, I didn't love it as much as I thought I was going to. Then we come to the one that almost everybody was really excited about and I don't know why they're not putting this out in a three wick. There's been no rumor of it being a three wick and that's just stupid. Like Bath and Body Works, make this more available. Pink Fairy Gumdrop, obviously with the ballerina, I loved it even more. I've had this candle in the past and absolutely loved it. Missed it last year. It was devastated that I missed it because it came and went so fast at candle day. I really wish they would put it out again. So this is Sparkling Sugared Berry Pink Cotton Candy and Sprinkle of Fairy Dust. It's sweet. <sighs> to me, this is like Tutti Frutti Candy and Enchanted Candy Potion had a baby. It has some tartness to it but it's not um, as soft as Enchanted Candy Potion. It's also not as tart as Tutti Frutti Candy. So I picked up this one, but did I just pick up one? No. Two. Three. Four and five. Yes, I picked up five of this candle because I loved it that much and I was so disappointed last year to not have it. And when I burned the one that I had, I was just like, I love this one so much. I had the one from like 2019, I think, didn't buy any candles in 2020, 2021, couldn't find it. And so this is, this has got to get me through and hopefully there'll be some after Christmas and I can buy more at SAS because this was the lowest price of the season. Uh, so hopefully they'll do some more sales and hopefully it's left over because I, I probably will buy more. And I mean, I got to keep at least one of these because of the ballerina. It's going to go with, you know, the flannel and the Sugar Plum Fairy. Okay, hand sanitizers. I went in to get a pump bottle because I like to keep that in my uh, car, especially like gas stations going across country. I got a Sunshine and Lemon a couple years ago and it was just awesome to have there just a little pump in the door. In the door, there's a cup holder and that the pump bottle fit in there perfectly. It was great for any time, just needed a quick hand sanitizing. Did not have that. Uh, didn't have any sense that I felt like I wanted to have for that much time. And I don't like the lotion you want. It leaves your hands a little bit greasy. I like the standard formula that dries pretty fast. So I did buy a few of them when they were half price. So these were 97 cents each, just a little bag of them because I was like, okay, I'm just going to get a couple of them. I'm disappointed that they don't have the, uh, this formula in the full-size bottles. So I picked up three of the strawberry snowflakes because I absolutely love this scent. I think it's so good. And then I picked up two of the A Thousand Wishes because I thought that would be a nice scent too, more year round. And yeah, I, I didn't want to charge like $3. So I was like, I'll just get five. Another recent sale they had was for the wallflowers. They had it for five, four ninety five for several of the different plugins. And then they also had the uh, bulbs for $2.95. And that's still a little bit more than I like to pay. I like to wait till they go 75% off at SAS. But there was a couple cents that I really wanted. So I decided to pick up, I just picked up five. I was trying to be good. I know five still sounds like a lot, but I wanted a couple of different ones. So I picked up Fa La 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 Tay. That, that one's so hard to say, like there's just too many words. This is a shot of espresso, sweet vanilla foam topped with warm cookie crumbles. I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I haven't tried this one yet. Then I picked up two hot cocos and cream. I already went over the notes. I love hot cocoa and cream. So knowing that they had it in a wallflower, I didn't get this last year because hot cocoa and cream is like one of those ones that's really popular. And I didn't realize that uh, until too late, kind of like pink, sugar, pink fairy gumdrop. So picked up two of those because definitely one of those. Then I picked up two of the strawberry snowflakes because wasn't sure how popular this is going to be. Wasn't sure if this would be left over after Christmas. These are normal, normally $7.50. So $2.95 is a little more than half price. It's not the best. It's better than five for $25, which is what they normally are. But uh, just picked up a couple. Wish that I had um, had my... 20% off coupon when I bought all of my 595 candles in store, but 
I went to the store and didn't realize they didn't have it. And oh, that was annoying. Then I picked up this guy, this one. I can't remember if they were $4.95. I think they must have been $4.95. So picked up this little guy. I wanted the Nutcracker and he's so cute. He's a little velvet flocked and yes, Nutcracker. Are you sensing a pattern yet? Yes, I really want the clock. Yes, I really want the Nutcracker soap holder and this uh, candle holder. Have not bought any of those. I've been trying to be good. Try and wait till SAS and hopefully gets a better deal on them. All right, back to the day that I bought my uh, candles. They had their 50% off table was still going and I picked up a couple things. I picked up one car fragrance refill. I need a new one in my car anyway. This is champagne, apple and honey. I thought that would be a good one. I since I enjoyed the scent and it feels like a nice fall one. Not quite ready for winter scents quite yet. And then I, I got this, this guy I have been looking for and I couldn't find it and then it just showed up in, at my store. I was so excited. So this was $9.50 originally, $4.75, 50% off. I'm so excited about this one. It's so cute. I, I used to go roller skating all the time. I was homeschooled and one of the things that we would do is we would do uh, homeschool roller skate a couple times a week go and roller skate for like an hour, an hour and a half. Actually really great exercise, like the best PE, right? I also was in homeschool PE, so uh, yeah. But uh, yes, I, I had to get the roller skate because it brought back so many memories of doing like the Macarena uh, while you're roller skating. It's so much fun. Ghostbusters, Amish Paradise, all, all the really super cheesy, fun type of songs. This guy I did not pick up in store. This was the 40% off sale that they did. They did like site-wide 40% off and then I had a 20% off coupon. So I got that as well. Just wanted to get the owl because I do, I have a lot of owls. I've loved owls. I had to tell my mom that I don't want any more owls though because uh, she kept buying me owls. Be so I'm picky about my owls now because I have too many, but I, I loved this one. I thought it was very cute and very fallish. This guy was also 50% off at in the store. So $14.95 was $7.50. I just thought it was really nice. I like the texture on it. It's very unusual. It's different than anything I have. And I just thought it was cute. Uh, take the scenic route. So did pick up that. A couple other things that I picked up during that 40% off. I got this guy. This is uh, the Halloween light up. So 40% off and then 20% off as well. I started collecting these houses last year. My mom basically started because she got the barn and she got the house when they were like 75% off at SAS. So now I had to get the spring one. I had to get the uh, the sandcastle one. Had to get this one. Glad glad to have this one. And then I picked up two of these perfumes. I picked up Fall in Bloom and I also picked up Dream Bright just to have a couple new scents. And whenever I can find them in like perfume form. I'm probably going to buy them because I I love perfumes and I have way too many. Uh, and yeah, I don't know if I'll pick up Dream Bright in a full size. Depends on if I can find it 40% off or not or more. W we'll see. I realize I'm kind of all over the place, but I've purchased way too much lately. Uh, this I used a redeem, uh, used a reward. I redeemed a reward for this guy. That's what I'm trying to say. I thought this was so stunning. I thought it was so pretty. The colors are just really not being even shown justice on screen. I thought it was so pretty. I want to get the candle holder of it too. This was $14.95. So good use, I feel, of my reward. Definitely, I, I love these and I always have my soap and a soap holder of some sort. This guy was, uh, it's for my mom. She purchased this because she, I just signed her up for rewards and this was her 10 off of $30 reward. And it's the little gnome, the hot pink one, because I'm a pink girl and I thought this one was so cute. And there's so many candles this will look really cute with. It's normally $34.95, so getting it uh, 20, uh, or 10 off of 30, you know, 30% 30 off almost. Very hard to find gone to two stores. There only had one between the two stores. The one didn't seem to get any in. And then I just happened to ask about this when I was shopping for candles and they said, oh yeah, we have one left in the front. So I had my mom go in and pick it up with her uh, reward. I think it's very cute. I'm very excited to have it. That totally reminded me uh, that I had purchased more during that 40% off sale with an additional 20% off. Uh, 
they're in the boxes and that's they weren't with all the rest of my Bath and Body Works. Kind of forgot about them. These are the pumpkins. I still really want the maroon pumpkin. I could not find the maroon pumpkin. I already had the blue one. So this is the orange one, kind of the most boring. The one that seems to have been left around the most. Uh, obviously, probably not everybody's favorite. And then I also got the green one. I'm leaving them in here because I got them so late that I'm ready for Christmas decor already. And uh, yeah, so the green, I like the green. Green is probably my third favorite. I wanted the blue and the maroon the most and was disappointed that the maroon seemed to have been so popular. Really glad that I got the blue one though because that one meant a lot to me. All right, last like decor thing. I picked up another one of the little uh, owls because I, I have this one currently on my purse and I just, I loved it so much. And I said when they were 50% off, pick up a little backup in case something happens to mine. Probably, I, I don't love any of the Christmas ones this year, but I'll probably switch them out in the spring for something a little bit more springy. But yeah, I uh, wanted an extra little poof ball. On to soaps. Soaps were 350 on sale. Not the best deal, but I just, I wanted a couple new soaps and I've been going, we've been going through them so much faster than I used to. So decided to pick up some of the newer scents that are in the winter scents, newer winter scents. That's what I'm trying to say. And then a couple like ones that I love. I love cranberry peach. This is one that I've had in the past. This is sweet peaches, tart cranberry and gala apple. Needed another one of that because I, I do love it. It's one that um, I've used at least two of those up in the past. <clears throat> Got a frosted coconut snowball because this one is so good. Frosted coconut, whipped vanilla and sugar crystals. It's so cute too. It's, it's one of my favorite scents and I love the uh, gel ones. So anytime I can find some in gel, that's always exciting. Picked up Fresh Sparkling Snow. This is Icy Melon Holiday Pear and Falling Snow. This one is also really nice and I love the owls. That's why I wanted that one. Then got Coconut Mint, Mint Drop. This one sounded good. White Coconut, Ice Peppermint, and Winter Musk. Not as cute as some of the other packaging, but sounds like a good scent. I love this scent. I've gone through several bottles of this and I still have a couple from last year. I didn't realize I got one that was all mashed up though. The, like they didn't lay the sticker on straight. This is iced cherries, juicy orange and snowy lime. It's, it's a good one. Then I picked up vanilla snowflake. This one sounded nice. Creamy vanilla, toasted coconut and sparkling citrus. I really like the hand, the gels. What can I say? Then I got glistening gumdrops mainly because this was not available in any other format. This is sparkling gumdrops, juicy orange and holiday spice. Let's smell this one. Hmm. It's interesting. I, it smells like soap. It, it smells soapier than most of the soaps that I normally get. If that makes sense. That's probably weird, but glistening gumdrops. And then I picked up strawberry snowflakes in two different forms because this one was so pretty. I just, the packaging on this one was so nice and then very, very excited about this one. Once again, juicy strawberry whipped cream and icy iced bergamot. Yeah, I've been obsessed with this scent. <sighs> okay, so on October 17th, something like that, they debuted all of the new holiday body care and I did an order because they were doing $5.95 for every, all the body care online. So I ordered several things, was, had never smelled any of them, was just hoping that I would like them. Ordered 10 things. I think I'm going to return some of these though, because I don't love them and I'm not sure what I would get to exchange them because you have to do exchange for exchange. And the stuff that I like is in different packaging that's more expensive than the stuff I don't like. Stuff I love, strawberry, snowflakes. I got two body washes. These are normally $14.50. They're the, they are the faceted Ugh. and they're kind of iridescent they look a little bit whiter in person but they're very very pretty I also got the body cream in this and I have enjoyed this and I think I will definitely use this and go through it I also got the spray the spray is the thing that I don't have with me because it's sitting to be sprayed like I've been spraying myself with it every day I've really enjoyed it. So it's definitely one that I would buy a backup of. And I feel like I want a couple more things of it to use beyond the season, if that makes sense. So Strawberry Snowflakes really liked this one. What is not at all what I was expecting is Ice Sugar Plum. 
and they had just random stuff. They didn't have everything and everything, which was just weird. So I got the lotion and iced sugar plum. This is sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. It should smell awesome, right? Marshmallow with plum. I wasn't sure about the flowers, but I was like, okay, benefit of the doubt. I got it in the body cream. This one is $16.50, the other one's $17.50. Uh, this one's $16.50, the other one's $17.50. I don't like this. I keep, I've sprayed it a few times. I've sprayed it on me. There's something distinctly bakery about this. I think if you like strawberry pound cake, which is not a scent that agrees with me, um, or raspberry jam donut, which is another scent that does did not agree with me, I think you will like this, but I just don't like this. It is too, it has that distinct bakery that kind of makes me nauseated. Um, and I don't know why. And the marshmallow is not like a creamy marshmallow. Uh, it doesn't smell like any of the other marshmallows that I have from Bath and Body Works. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to return this set. I've only used the spray. I have not used these two and I'll definitely let them know that. And this one's obviously still has the seal on it, but I just, I don't love it. And I was looking so forward to this because I thought it was going to be this lovely plummy, uh, scent and then I heard it had marshmallow and I was like oh plum and marshmallows because one of my favorite perfumes of all time is a plum based one and you definitely get that plum and this just doesn't this is not the sugar plum that they've done in the past it's not as good if this smelled like the sugar plum fairy I'd be over the moon but this doesn't um so yeah pretty sure I'm going to return these ones unless I can find something to exchange for the same price and I, I don't know I don't I don't need any more body sprays in most of the scents that are available now. Bright Christmas Morning is the other one I got. This is Riped Red Berries, Blood Orange, and Crisp Apple. They did not have this in the body <laughs> lotion, did not have it in the shower gel. So I just picked up the body cream and the uh, Fine Fragrance Mist. And this one, I've already talked about it, but it is Ripe Red Berries, Blood Orange, and Crisp Apple. This one is... Reminds me of Bubbly Rosé a little bit. Um, and it's probably the Blood Orange. I don't like this as well as I did the um, candle. I really liked the candle. I've had uh, <sighs> wallflowers in this in the past. I think the lotion might be a little bit nicer. I just, I don't love this one either. So I might end up returning these two as well because they just, they're okay. I like them better than Ice Sugar Plum, but I feel like it's a little too sour for me. I just, it's a, it's not as bright as the candle has been for me. So I, I don't think I'm going to end up keeping these either, which is like, I'm being more ruthless because I know that I don't have that window anymore and that they're cracking down for people who, and like, it was only a year's time where I was even remotely returning anything. And yeah, I did find some stuff that I had had for a year that I just never liked and I did return them. I didn't abuse it. Like they were unopened, unused product for the most part. They were just, you know, like gift box scents that I wasn't a fan of. Uh, so I feel like they're punishing normal consumers a little bit for people who were definitely abusing the system. Um, but yeah, not a fan of these. Like them better than Ice Sugar Plum, but I, I just don't like this one. Definitely smell these before you buy them. Don't buy them online because you're probably going to be disappointed and then you will have spent uh, either shipping on it or you will have spent more than $50 if they're doing one of their free shipping days, which doesn't happen nearly enough. Last thing that I bought from that uh, launch was vanilla mocha martini. I just wanted a body cream in this. I would have bought a shower gel, but they don't have any of the shower gels either. This is cozy cappuccino, cozy cappuccino, vanilla orchid, and white tonka bean. I don't know why they keep changing the name. This is the third name that they've had. It smells okay. I feel like I liked, I feel like it was better blended last year, or maybe it was just, I liked the formula better last year on the uh, body creams. I feel like some of these have been stinky this year and I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy this one or not. So I'm keeping it though. Like I'm going to keep it and use it and probably buy a shower gel 
when they finally go on sale. I used my free item they sent out in the last round of coupons in a free uh, body care item of your choice. So I got the lotion and strawberry snowflakes because it was fifteen fifty, and that was the the threshold. So I got the lotion so that I have this for later on. Yeah, just I really love strawberries, so this one was a good one. Okay, we've been here forever, and I still have twelve uh, candles to go. So we're almost there. We're we're getting there. I have two flats. These I bought during the buy one get one free candle sale and I had a 25% off. So these ended up being, let me look at the prices. They ended up being 956 and 994 for all of the candles, which I felt like was candle day prices. I could get a chunk of the ones that I wanted, especially ones that I wanted to keep for display for years to come. I could get them now and not have to deal with people and not have to worry about them selling out or any of that. So here we go. First one up, we have champagne toast. I got this one because of the ballerinas on it, obviously nutcracker themed. The notes on this are heart, bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, and sweet orange. Got this uh, for display. If I can get another one, I would probably, although I don't need one of those to burn because I have at least two of them sitting in my drawer of the same scent, just not as pretty packaging. Then I picked up peppermint sugar cookie. This is definitely one that I don't want to burn. It's a little too bakery for me. It's okay. Uh, crushed peppermint vanilla ice, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. The peppermint is very strong in this one, but uh, just wanted because it had Clara on the front and you know, we're doing that. Then we got Sugar Plum Fairy. Obviously I had to get this one as well. Already got the two. So this one, I got one to save and one to burn just like I did with the single wicks. Then I picked up uh, two strawberry snowflakes. These are definitely going to be burned. I mean, the pa packaging is pretty and all, but nothing to write home about something that I want to keep. Look at those wicks. Those are gigantic, really long wicks. Mm. So yes, picked up two of the strawberry snowflakes. Then I picked up two land of sweets, which is sugared pomegranate. The lid on this one is so pretty. I hadn't seen this lid before. Uh, this is sugared pomegranate, pink grapefruit and sparkling bergamot. It's very pretty. I got uh, this one, one to keep and one to burn because uh, Land of Sweets, I should get Land of Snow too because of Nutcracker references, but uh, wanted just a, one to burn because I thought it was smelled so good, but I also need one of these. I should show you the lid for Strawberry Snowflakes. It has this pretty uh, snowflake kind of uh, Fair Elise almost type lid. I thought that was really pretty, especially with that Arctic. Uh, seen on the outside. Then I got two of the hot cocoa and cream because this candle is so good. Obviously, um, this one doesn't, it's the same style as the Nutcracker, but it obviously has nothing to do with Nutcracker. Uh, they're ice skating and yeah, doesn't go with the Nutcracker theme. Oh my God. It smells just like chocolate. I, I will be burning both of these and the lid is very pretty on these as well. They have like this, uh, almost like the garland with the stars on it. Then we picked up flannel in the full size as well. This has the Mouse King and the Christmas tree on it. The notes on this are fresh bergamot, heirloom uh, mahogany, and soft musk. It, it, it smells like a guy to me. Uh, not my favorite type of a scent, but definitely love the packaging. And then the final one that I got is fresh balsam. And this has the nutcracker and the tree on it as well. And this is woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedarwood. It is strong. It is fresh. Um, once again, not a scent that I like to burn. But when they came out with these nutcracker, I knew that I was going to be getting all of them because uh, these are going to be a, a pretty little display. There are a couple more in that similar packaging, but that are not like directly nutcracker things. Like Tis the Season has like Santa's elf on it. So I, I did not get those. I was only, 
I was trying to get ones that I knew I really wanted, hot cocoa and cream, uh, sugar plum fairy, land of sweets, strawberry shirt, snowflakes. Those are ones that I knew I wanted to burn. I wanted to get peppermint hot chocolate. Originally I had like 20 and then I was like, oh, I do not have money for 20 new candles. So I cut it down to 12, which was still a lot. Um, and we'll, we'll probably pick up a couple more during candle day. We'll see what they have. They have like sugared, uh, sugared blueberries and lemon or something like that, which sounds amazing. I'm really looking forward to that one. Anyway, let me know what you have gotten. Let me know what you're looking forward to. Let me know what your thoughts are on like a sugar plum and bright Christmas morning. Were you disappointed in them too? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time.